Jesus. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's Saturday, guys. Hope y'all's had a good week. Uh, I'm gonna bring y'all some uh, content on the Monte Carlo today, guys. Did a video on it last week, guys, where we was just driving it around, checking it over and stuff. But today's video, guys, is us going over the nitrous and what some of the things that you go over and check before you spray one. And um, so I'm gonna go over that with y'all, guys. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, guys. The first thing y'all want to do is this system here is from Industrial Induction Solutions. And um, there's a phone number, guys, if y'all want to get up with them. They sell nitrous systems. But this is the particular system that Eric bought for his car. So uh, what you want to do is they've pretty much laid him out a list here. Um, and with his list, they made him out some jet jet numbers, uh, 075 and 047. And then if you look right down here, they've got it laid out for him. 047 and 075 which would be these jets right if i can hold them which would be these jets right here which is a 075 047 then you look right here on your chart and you say 075 047 and according to these guys that's a 200 shot so what they got in the system now is a 064 042 and how I know that is um where's it at right here guys this pack is empty which is a 051 035 051 035 right there and they're saying that start that system out which is which is a hundred shot which is to me guys is is hardly nothing but we're started out with that and then we'll go up from there probably what we'll do next is move it up to 150 shot and then we'll go from a 150 shot on up to 200 and then probably on up to 250 until we get at 300 to see how it's going to do so um so now that we've went over that um here's some things you want to check over on the car when you crank this thing up and what i do is i will crank it and you want to set your fuel gauge now according to most nitrous guys and stuff y'all want to set your fuel pressure about six and a half pounds guys um on nitrous and then most of the time you'll have a, a separate regulator for your nitrous so um this is your nitrous regulator and then this is your regular fuel regulator come in but i got it set at the gauge right here on the fuel coming in at six and a half pounds i actually need to put another gauge right here in the end so i can read what's actually going in on the nitrous so the jets is already in the plate and you want to make sure all that's checked and i did check it already guys and that's the jets that are in the plate and then what you got right here, guys, is the nitrous switch. And what happens is when you go wide open throttle, um, when I go wide open throttle with it, it'll, it'll hit the switch here and turn the nitrous on. So it's uh, on a wide open throttle switch is the way we got it set up. Then what you want to do, guys, is come back here. And uh, I just put a, uh, that's actually Eric's bottle. He's got to get it filled. So what I done was I put my bottle in it uh, out of the Nova. So, um, so we can do some testing with it just to see what we got. But what you want to do, guys, the way these bottles is made, nine times out I can show you on this one. Nine times out of ten, the way these nitrous bottles are made, this is the inlet. And that tube goes down in here and turns and goes back this way. It's sort of like. It comes up like this right here in an angle and then comes back up like that to the to the uh, fitting right here so when you put that bottle in there you need to make sure that this is pretty much turned down so that 
the bottle is still in nitrous when it leaves. When the car launches and all that, you want to make sure that the nitrous is still in the bottle. And most of the time, guys, that's if the bottle is low. If the bottle is pretty much full, you don't have to worry about that. So most of the time, if you keep a full bottle, you won't have to worry about where the stem is uh, pointed at. That's why a lot of times on the nitrous application, guys, you'll see them with the bottle stood straight up in the car. That way they know it's in nitrous and they're not gonna run out. So, but on this application, y'all can see where I got the, the nozzle turned straight down so that it'll be in nitrous. So, so yeah, guys, that's some of the things you would check and uh, you'll check your timing and stuff to, uh, to pretty much see how it does. So y'all stay tuned, guys. Alright guys, I, I went over everything and um, the boogie box, went through the boogie box, it's got some scents in it already, so we got a hundred shot on it, we're going to go down the road do some testing with it, just see how it works out. Alright guys, we're down here at the test spot, um, we're going to try a hundred shot on it, just to see how to do, um, I don't know how it's going to do, but we'll see, um, like I said, the uh, I'm gonna just pretty much just try a hit with it, not check tire pressure or nothing. We're just gonna see how it does. And like I said, guys, this ain't the best road, so but this is where we could go and not too far from the house. So y'all stay tuned. Let's see how this thing does on a hundred shot. She turned up. Yeah. All the way from right there to there. Dang. Oh, no, it's nice right here. Damn. Don't move so high. Just hang on to it when that mattress rolls in it. Oh, Dad. Get off. All right, guys, the car did good. Uh, it surprised me. Um, I didn't expect for it to do that, guys, but uh, it actually did good on that 100 shot. But um, actually what we're going to do, though, is uh, we're going to run it, get ready to, well, I got it pretty much set up now that we can take it to the track and run it. So actually the next video on this car, guys, we'll be at the track trying it. So, uh, but it's, I pretty much got everything set up so we can go spread at the track. And we got to do a few shock adjustments because I know when I left with it in the highway down there, it, it did that G-body shelf and front end twisted. So, but all in all, I mean, it done good. I'm happy with it. It surprised me. Like I said, it done good. But guys, I'm going to close this video out. I want to thank everybody that's been subscribing to the channel and watching the channel, guys. All the comments that come in, guys, I want to thank y'all for that. 
Make sure you go check out the merch store, guys. Get yourself a t-shirt or whatever, guys. See y'all on the next upload.